All right, here it is, lunchtime, time for the Fresh Grocer, Tony Tantillo, and today it is Tony's Table. Tony here, just back from Italy. I'm sure you've got some new inspiration. Every time you go there, you eat yes, and indulge, I eat, right? I indulge, and the food there is so clean, so good. and Fresh. You know, being in Sicily where I'm from, it's just some, it's like someone says, what's like being in Sicily? I say, it just hugs you. Oh. You don't want to leave. So true. You don't want to leave. I'm, I'm surprised that I'm looking at this table, and I don't see a pasta noodle anywhere. Uh, you know what? It's hot today. <laughs> I was going to make a couple of dishes that I learned mm -hmm. over there, but it's so hot today, I don't want to put the stove on. We're just going to make something that's going to refresh us. Sounds good. Like today, and two items when I walked the market to look for something that really caught my eye on a day like today is how do you do mm -hmm. and the golden pineapple, and how do you do right now that's coming into the market is fantastic. When you buy it, you want to see that creamy color around, not green, but a creamy color. Heavy for their size means it's got a small cavity. When you bring them home, unlike cantaloupes, you want to store these on the counter, mm. not in the refrigerator. And unlike cantaloupes, what I do is get picked. The sugar content continues. They just keep oh, getting sweeter. Sweeter and so sweeter, when, huh? When it feels nice and sticky when you rub your hands around, that's mm -hmm. when it's ready. Sticky. Incredible. Okay. Oh, this is perfect like this. Nice and heavy. Okay. And wait till the juices come out. And we'll do a quick tip on pineapples. When you buy pineapples in the market, make sure the eyes are nice and right here, nice and big. The eyes, that's we, what you we call, call it, it, huh? The eyes of the pineapple. And you know that myth about, you know, taking the middle off and comes mm -hmm. out easy, it's ripe. That's just a myth. That doesn't, oh, that doesn't, okay. really doesn't work. You just want to make sure it's nice and heavy. And if you, a lot of times, too, because the pineapples are stored like this and they're grown, mm -hmm. standing up, when you bring them home, cut the top right here, turn them upside down, the sugar from the bottom will go to the top and it's oh. even all the way through. So there you go. And of course, store them on the counter. So let's here put we in go. some golden pineapple. Okay. Now, golden pineapples are great. It's hard to find the white pineapple these days. Nice little bite sized pieces. Right. And you know that these have 50% more vitamin C than the white pineapple? Really? And oh, it's that the, color, and huh? And half the acidity. So it's just, just so popular. sweet. Add the honeydew. Okay, again, some bite sized pieces, just about a bowl full. I like these big pieces. I should have cut maybe a little bit smaller, but I like them big. We have big now, mouths. Now, we're going to spice it up, give it a little bit of heat to balance it off. Red onions and jalapenos. Oh, See the jalapenos. all of it, Tony? All of it. Put it all of it in. Okay. Now That's some what I'm smelling. Red peppers. Nice little bite. Okay. Nice red peppers. Don't saute the red peppers. They're beautiful Just right now. Cut They're them raw. They're going to give it some huh? color. They're going to give it a little bit of a bite. Okay. Add some olive oil, please. Look right how there. pretty. Eat the rainbow. And then the last, but not least, little salt and pepper. All of this? All of that. Okay. Now, what you really want All to do after you do this, wrap, I mean, cover it up, put it in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes because you don't want to add any lemon juice to this or any type of juice because it's got so much moisture from the pineapple and honeydew. It's just going to start coming out. So put it in the refrigerator just for a little while. Okay. Mix it up, and then I'm going to go ahead and plate it, and you're going to finish So you this. serve it chilled? I love serving it chilled. Oh, you're I right. This is perfect for a hot day. It's got big pieces, but you know what? Just get the fork and enjoy it. You get that little jalapeno. It's going to bite you, right? Yes. Kind of and of course nice, you, sweet I pineapple like to, to balance it. I like to see the jalapeno, it. but you don't have to. Look at the color in that. It's great. It glistens. Now, I see you have cilantro over here as well. Did you add cilantro? Parsley. parsley. Oh, that's parsley. parsley. Does that go in there? No. Just a decoration. It's a little bit of decoration, but what does finish the top, we're going to add some balsamic reduction. Mm -hmm. So give the sweetness. Now you have all these different flavors going on at one time. And we're going to put this right on top. Ah, oh, a little pizzazz. Like that. And that's it. And it's then we're going to dig in. Make. I'm reaching for a fork, you Tony. Because it is lunchtime. It's mine. I'm going to just I'm try go and. Uh, you go for the honeydew. I'm going for the pineapple, and we'll try and avoid the jalapeno, at least for now, right? Mm. How is it? Mmm, I got some balsamic too. So good. It's so good, isn't it? Really good.